get more on the situation in Iran now and join Parisa Hafisi in Tehran. Uh, Parisa, uh, tell us the latest there. As you said, uh, Mir Hossein Mousavi has called on people to gather in mosques and uh, to have this calm protest. But the, the importance of this call is that this time it will be in around Iran. It's a nationwide gathering and protest because so far since uh, Friday, uh, the, this gathering mainly were held in big cities, especially in Tehran, but today's gathering and call is in mosques around the country. And also, late last night, another opposition leader, another moderate figure, Ibrahim Yazdi, head of Iran's freedom movement, was arrested, and the dozens of leading reformists have been arrested and are in jail, and hundreds of students, they have been arrested, hundreds of protesters have been arrested. Foreign media are not allowed to leave their offices and cover news, and they have have to stay at their offices, and if they go out and cover stories, they will be confronted legally. It's what the culture ministry announced yesterday, because it seems that uh, they say the, these rallies are illegal, and journalists are not covering their, their illegal uh, gatherings. Yes? Arisa, the people who are out on the streets, are they calling for a change of president, for instance, Musavi rather than Ahmadinejad, or are they calling for a change of system, a different society in Iran? No, they're not calling for, for another revolution or change of system or anything. They want an evolution, basically. And they want the vote, the June 12 vote, to be cancelled. And they want another election, a fresh election. But the problem is that it will be very difficult for the clerical establishment to hold a second election because this will undermine the system because they, since Friday they are praising the turnout, they are praising the, the, the president, President Ahmadinejad. So now withdrawing with, from this position will be really uh, will have consequences for the system and will weaken the legitimacy of the system. But presumably there are as many people who support President Ahmadinejad. Of course, there are many supporters of Ahmadinejad, and some Ahmadinejad still gets enjoyed support in rural areas among poor people. But gradually, this Musavi's call is spreading among. It was so far; it was in the middle class and youth they were supporting him. But it's spreading among among poor people, and uh, and as you know, today's rally, as there is a rally today, which will be held uh, in southern Tehran. And, and this is spreading this protest among poor people as well. Parisa Hafizi.